long are you? And she says, I'm 37 weeks. 37 weeks? What is that in human time? Okay, I, I was just making polite conversation, okay? I have neither the time nor the brain power to divide by four, okay? Just tell me when the goddamn thing pops. And it doesn't stop there either. After they have the kid, then it just goes from weeks to months. You're like, oh, how old is your son? And she's like, I'm, my son is 18 months. No, he's not. He's a year and a half. Okay, we're not aging cheese here, Mom. The next time one of them asks me what time it is, I'm just going to give him like, the time in Gren Greenwich Mean Time. Just to be difficult. It's 2200 hours Zulu time. Zulu. <laughs> anyway, I, I, there's another weird thing that got me confused. Me. Another weird thing I found out about late, recently was, was driving down the highway and I saw a van. Okay, now I need the side of the van it says, Wake Up With Makeup. Yeah. And I became aware in this manner of something known as permanent makeup. That exists. You ladies can have eyebrows, <coughs> lipstick, and rouge tattooed on your face. Yeah. How lazy do you have to be? <laughs> You know, I mean, I guess it's, it's no different than a guy, you know, putting in hair plugs. He doesn't want to put the wig on every morning. He wants to wake, to wake up, look in the mirror, and see pubic hairs growing out of his forehead. That's his right, you know? But we're all so lazy, you know? And, uh, you know, but the most amazing part about wake up with makeup to me is not that they'll tattoo eyebrows, lipstick, and rouge on your face. It's that they have a van. These people are so lazy, not only won't they put the makeup on their face, they won't make the appointment and go to the clinic to get the procedure done. Which begs the question, if you never leave your house, why do you care about how you look? Yeah, think about it. It's too deep. It's too deep. I'm sorry. Go back to your chicken wings. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Because I'm just trying to sidestep, you know, potential problems. I'm just, you know... I, God forbid I should say anything bad about the service at Chili's. So I'm gonna make sure, make sure I sidestep that one. Stellar, stellar service at Chili's, so definitely want to go there. Um, so anyway, yeah, there's a big other Chili's up our way. Uh, um, over in, in Burlington, if you start um, driving out Route 7 out towards Shelburne, you see a funeral home. It's, uh, it's called Ready Funeral Home. Is that the guy's name, or is it the chosen name of the business? Because either way, it's a horrible name for a funeral home. Is, is any of us ever really ready? I think they should call it ready or not. Seems more accurate. You go, I don't know what it is about this road, but you go a little further down the road, and there's a motel, and it's called the Ho-Hum Motel. Ho -hum. It's an interesting marketing choice, don't you think? You know, like... I bought a CD flea bag hotel on the side of the road. <laughs> what should I call it? Thank you, Macho Man. Ow! Oh, oh, that sounds good. Something that conjures the concepts of boredom and mediocrity. But, you know, I wonder, like, what if you're having an affair with your secretary and you bring her there for the first time? She just, like, gets out of the car and she's like, ho hum? What are you trying to say? That I'm average? No, no, I was saying this. Don't get your hopes up, that's all. <laughs> A lot of weird things. I, um, I also found out about this thing recently called nudicles. Do you know what nudicles are? Nudicles are, this is straight off the website. Nudicles are a revolutionary testicular implant procedure for pets. No, no, no way. You guys didn't catch this, so I'm going to say it again. Ready? Nudicles are, listen, 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 a revolutionary testicular implant procedure for pets. Yeah. Now you heard it, right? Are you like all the guys are like, what? what the heck? That's unnecessary. But that's what it is. And they say in the tagline is, it's like nothing ever changed. I'm sorry, but personally, if you knocked me out, cut off my balls, and replaced them with walnuts, I think I'd notice. But I'm perceptive that way, you know? They say it's supposed to help the self esteem of the pets. No, it's not. It's to alleviate the guilt of the owner, isn't it? Really? I don't get it. And you know, you gotta wonder though, is it like, they, do they make them in different sizes? Because you know they must. And then the temptation would be there, wouldn't it? To put like bull mastiff balls in your chihuahua? Damn right. Damn right, there's my dog. Yeah. So yeah, he, the, the nudicles thing, I don't know. 
I feel like the, the kind of guy who would put like huge nudicles on his dog is the same kind of guy who would put like truck nuts on his F-150 pickup. <laughs> You truck out to the audience? Feel like a man, do you? I, I feel like a man. I tried it. Put truck nuts on the vehicle. It's a 98 Jetta. I feel like a man. It's not the truck nuts that make me feel like a man, though. It's the 9 inch dildo I strapped to the front bumper. Alright, I'm gonna end with a little song here for you folks. I just, I, I just couldn't get this nuclear thing out of my head. Fake, fake balls for dogs. And, uh, and so I thought I'd, I'd, I'd sing a little tune for you guys tonight. Right. Yeah. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah. Hey, Patrol, I'm going to put bull master balls on that. Alright, y'all ready for a good song next? Here we go. Last thing, last thing I like. Something was missing, and yet something else was new. When I licked down my old lipstick on my balls, there was no trace. And two little round nuggets had been jammed there in their place. What the hell are these things where my kibbles used to be? And how am I supposed to hump on stuff with fake nuts blocking me? So fantastic. I've been bald black, but two little hunks of plastic. Why did my master do something so drastic? Well, I overheard that man say he saved my self esteem. But having rocks betwixt my legs is worse than nothing in between. If you're gonna take my man's work, well, then take it if you must. But then thrusting cocktail onions in my sap disrupts our trust. <laughs> All this has me wondering, what's this guy's next trick? Is he gonna cut my dick off and replace it with a stick? Replace it with a stick. Well, I've been bought a whole block like an echo. Feeling so fantastic. <laughs> now, I've been bought a whole block by two little homies to fight. Silk and then they did the deed so strange And then they had the nerve to tell me It's like nothing ever changed and I feel angry, hurt, and sad And I feel so betrayed I feel there's a good chance That I'll never get me laid That's okay, it's over And I'm never looking back Cause what bitch would ever want me With only nads inside my sack Seriously, I, I want to thank one more round of applause for all the comics that performed tonight, everybody. Be kind, be kind to them, be kind. They suffered, they sweated. And a round of applause for Jason for putting this whole thing together. You know, round of applause for the troops overseas. We'll be getting this on DVD. Yes, yes, thank you, boys. 
and a round of applause for yourselves, especially you, and you, and you. Seriously, you guys have been awesome. You guys have been okay. But seriously, give yourselves a round of applause, everybody. Yeah, you guys have been an awesome, awesome audience. Seriously. Thank you so much. And uh, have a great night. That's it. Show's over. Go. <laughs>